President Obama went to survey flood damage in Louisiana today, but that's not sitting well with people in the Mountain State since Mr. Obama never came here after our floods. Chief political reporter Mark Curtis joining us tonight, gauging some of the reaction from people. So what's the mood right people now? People are mad. Yeah. I, mean, I, I spent the day up in Clendenin and Elkview, one of the hardest hit parts of the state, like Greenbrier County, and people are just smoking mad. They they say that you know West Virginia had more fatalities than Louisiana yeah. uh, and, and more devastation. Not that this, this is a contest of any kind. I mean, of they, course, they yeah. said they're saying prayers for the people of Louisiana. They really think the president needed to go here or there, but they needed to have him come here too. So uh, there are those that speculate that this is uh, perhaps about politics, that the Democrats look at this is uh, West Virginia as a state that's going to go for Donald Trump no matter what, so why show up? Whereas Louisiana might be a state that's in play. I mean, you hate to see something like this come down to politics, but that's the mood of the public here and in the Mountain State. People are talking about that as a possible motive for this. All right, politics aside, some people here in West Virginia are concerned that there might be they might be getting slighted in another way. In another way, and this is very this is actually more troubling than the political piece. Uh, someone in Clendenin went on the FEMA website today and pointed right. out to me that said people homeowners in Louisiana are eligible for a maximum of forty thousand dollars in disaster aid. Well, what's the cap in West Virginia? It's thirty three thousand yeah. dollars. Why is there this disparity? Uh, we've called FEMA to try to find out. We haven't heard back from them. We did check the Louisiana. Louisiana Department of Homeland Security website, and it says that people in that state are only eligible for 33,000 in aid. So that would put them in parity with West yeah. Virginia, make it fair. But whether this $40,000 was a typographical error or a misinterpretation of the disaster aid, but that's got people hot under the collar in West Virginia too. Why should they get more when we need the help here? Okay, now going back to politics. Okay. <laughs> the president is getting a lot of criticism for not coming here. But is it fair for him to be the only one facing Well, it's not fair because, look, Donald Trump, while he went to Louisiana, he has not come here. Hillary Clinton is planning to go to Louisiana perhaps later this week. She has made no trip to the Mountain State either. Look, as a practical matter, whether it's Trump or Clinton that wins this election, when they're sworn in on January 20th, there is still going to be a lot of disaster aid that is needed for the state of West Virginia. How come both of them have not come here to survey the damage? People are upset about this. Uh, yes, they're mad at President Obama for snubbing us and going to Louisiana, but they're also wondering why the two would-be presidents that are going to have to take the ball from Obama on this have not shown up here in the Mountain State to survey the damaged first person. Look, they can write the checks through FEMA. They can get that done, but sometimes when you just see a disaster with your own eyes and see the devastation and the emotional state of the people, you have a much different grasp of what you're dealing with. Absolutely. Mark Curtis, thank you so much for your expertise on this and right, Dan, clearing thanks. it up for us. Thank you. All right, well, tonight, people in Greenbrier County, well, they're also telling us they're upset the lack of response from Washington and of course the other national politicians. But I haven't seen anybody outside of the state except for the people that are here helping us to rebuild White Sulphur Springs. So yeah, I would say that if West Virginia is a part of the United States of America, which we are, somebody from Washington should have been here to, to check on us at least. Local government officials like Senator Joe Manchin and Congressman Evan Jenkins did make trips to affected areas. But no one from the Obama administration paid a visit. People believe the Mountain State was neglected and the president should have shown his support.